Welcome to Ginny's Horse Product Review. I'm Ginny and today I'm going to tell you why you should never trailer your horse without a fly mask on. If you've seen any of the videos of me going horse camping or trail riding and things like that where my horses are in the trailer, you've seen them wearing their fly masks. And you're probably thinking like, probably not a whole lot of flies just like buzzing around the trailer. What's the deal? My horses never go anywhere in the trailer without their fly masks on because that protects their eyes from any debris that could be flying around. Ventilation is super important in horse trailers. You want to have a lot of windows, a lot of airflow going through. My trailer has roof, vents, windows, and even with window screens, I still put fly masks on my horses because I use shavings in my trailer. And you know that if you're going 60 miles an hour down the highway, there's going to be dust and all kinds of stuff just like floating around in there and I want their eyes to be protected. The last thing I want is to somebody to get off the trailer with a puffy eyeball when I'm ready to ride. Additionally, a fly mask with ear covers can also help to kind of buffer noise, like the wind noise for a horse that's super anxious or doesn't really like trailering. So I definitely feel like a good fly mask, even with, with or without ear covers, is only gonna be helpful for you if you're trailering your horse, whether it's long distance or across town. Whether your trailer has screens or not, the fly mask can just help to protect the eyes and just make sure that there's a barrier between anything that's flying around in there and your horse's eyeballs. When you think about it, you could be traveling down the road in excess of 60, 65 miles per hour or more. I don't know how you drive, um, but you should be thinking about the, the amount of wind and dust and debris, potentially shavings, anything flying into your horse trailer, and you want their eyes to be protected. A fly mask takes like five seconds to put on, and for me, it's just good insurance to know that my horse's eyes are gonna be protected. I'm not gonna unload my horse with like a puffed out eyeball when I'm ready to ride or show or do anything like that. It's just another simple little thing that you can do to protect your horse when they're in the trailer. And remember, it's not a good idea to close those windows. It's super important for your horses to have ventilation in the trailer, especially if they're whizzing back there and there's that ammonia smell building up, or if it's hot, you want as much ventilation in your horse trailer as possible. Even in cold weather, it's super important to have those windows open. My trailer has roof vents, windows, all kinds of stuff, and it's almost always open all the time, no matter what kind of weather or temperature we're traveling in. Ventilation is so important, which is why it's a really good idea to put a fly mask on your horse when you're traveling. Additionally, if you use a fly mask with ear covers, that's just another layer of protection or buffer for your horse, especially if they're nervous. Sometimes those ear covers, kind of the way that jumpers use the fly bonnets to kind of help buffer the noise or the wind, I think that's, that can help those horses that might be a little anxious or worried on the trailer to just have that like a little bit more uh, protection from the wind back there. You know it's gonna be loud. Imagine if you're driving around with your windows down and you know you might want to have something to cut, protect your eyes and your ears from the sound and everything like that. So it's just a really good idea to trail your horse with a fly mask. I always do if you've seen any of my videos where my horses are in the trailer or our camping vlogs and trail riding, you'll see my horses stepping on and off the trailer with their fly masks on every time. And if you haven't already, you need to go check out my video of the best fly mask and my number one hack to keep it on. I have tested dozens of these things. I had a horse for a while who, I mean, her eye would just puff up at anything and it was super important for me to keep it covered. At the time, I couldn't count on the stable she was at to even let me know if it came off of her and I would come out to the barn, her eyes would be puffed up. She had a gnat allergy. And it was just super important for me to find a fly mask that would stay on and that wouldn't like rub her raw and like bloody and leave holes all over her face. So again, if you're not sure what fly mask to use or you're looking for a new one, definitely check out my video and um, you can go see what I'm using and what I love. I've been using these for years now and they're literally the best. In conclusion, I just think it's super important to trailer with a fly mask on whether you have screens on your trailer or it's like an open style stock trailer, this is just another layer of protection and it's a super easy, cheap, quick thing to do to make sure that your horse's eyes are protected. 
If your horse is a little bit nervous, those added ear covers can help to muffle the wind a little bit, and that can also, you know, work to your benefit. Do you trailer your horse on a fly mask? I would love to hear about it. If so, what kind? I am always testing new products and interested in hearing what works for other people, what doesn't work. So drop me a comment. If this video was helpful, definitely hit the like button. That helps me out. And also subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss next week's video where I talk to you about my favorite budget gut health supplement. Until next time, happy trails.